Okay, here's a tutorial in making a text effect in CorelDRAW X3. As you can see here, it's like a metallic effect. Uh, this was all done in CorelDRAW X3. Let's look at the the object or the text effect. Okay, let's zoom out here. Okay, so first first of course we have to have the xps um, uh, object first so what i did just to make this a little bit faster here's what i've done here so this is the xps uh, text logo so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to if you take a look at the the text effect here it has like an outline a contour like an offset so that's what we're going to do okay so what we're gonna do if we're gonna combine all of this one first okay but before doing that we're going to copy this one so control C to copy or you can always go here and then copy okay okay we want to copy that one because you want to save that that particular object because that's the original file and so that when i click on paste it would just paste right to the same position like for example here that's already been pasted say for example i'm going to delete this one okay since we copied it in that uh, in that position if i paste it's also going to stay in that position too okay anyway the the text is already in the clipboard so we won't worry about that so we're going to combine this one okay so after combining that we're going to go to this tool here for interactive contour tool so what we're going to do is we're going to make a contour okay so when you click on the interactive contour you're going to see this properties here on top okay uh, this one is inside okay the contour is it do you want it going inside or outside Okay, we're going to choose outside because it's going to go outside the text object, so outside, right? And if you, like, if you take a look now, it's a little bit bigger. So this one is the contour offset. This one, this one uh, controls the distance. So if you can make it smaller. And this one controls the steps, like how many steps do you want, how many contour contours say two and if you notice here it increases right okay so we only want one okay and uh, yeah I think 0 0.061 inch is fine or maybe not because see the s okay so I'll make it smaller than there I think that's good enough okay now since I've done that one what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put a fill on this. Okay. Actually, I don't want to put a fill. I'm going to zoom in here. Click on the outside and go to arrange break contour apart. Okay. So once it's already break, it's a, see it's already break in two parts, right? The outline and the object. Then we're going to combine it again. So you select all with a crossing window and then click on combine. Okay. So now if I click on the fill, it's only the outline is gonna change. Right. Anyway, so we go to the interactive, I mean the fill fountain, and and we're going to do custom. Okay, and then in here the angle will make it 90, 90 degrees. And then here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this black. And then in the center here, if I double click, uh, and I'll put uh, a gray. If you took a look at the outline here, I mean the feel it changes. Or maybe I'll put another one, double click, and then click on white. There, I think that's better now. And then I click OK. Okay. See now we got the 
outline and then I'm just going to remove the outline no outline okay so you've got that already just going to delete this one okay and remember we had the we had the uh, the original XPS XPS uh, text in the clipboard so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to edit and then paste okay and I'm gonna put a fill so it's still there right but what I'm gonna do instead of that I'm going to add another page here here's what how you how you add a page you click on the plus sign and I'm gonna paste it in this in this uh, page because what I'm going to do here, I'm going to stylize this. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your freehand tool and click on Bezier tool. And I'm going to make a line click and click here. Okay. Now I'm going to make a curve. So click on it. Right mouse click. Go to curve. I'm going to make a curve. Curve like that. And go like this. That's for our reflection, the metallic effect. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm going to select this, all the text first. Okay. Hold on Shift. Select this one and select that. So I got four images. I have four objects. One, two. Before, and I'm going to combine it first. So after combining that, I click on the line that I just made, the curve, and then hold on Shift and click on the text logo. And I'm going to go here in the properties and click on Simplify. Okay. So once I click on Simplify, then I'm going to delete this this line. Okay. Then I have these three of uh, I have these objects. Okay, with the curve. So if I go arrange and break apart, then I can make this as individual one, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do undo. Go back here. Now, this one, the top portion, I hold on shift, top portion, top portion, all these three objects here. I'm going to put a gradient fill. fill. And I'm going to go to, I'm going to make it lighter gray. So let's say I'm going to do it this way. Right. And then I'll make this 90 degrees. So I'll make it 270. So that it's top gray and then here it's white. And then I'll click OK. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make this one. So click on that. Hold on Shift. Click the bottom part. Hold on Shift. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, put a gradient fill on that. So I'm going to go here, fill tool, gradient. Okay, so I'll make this 90 degrees. Sorry, I'll make that 270. So that the black would be stay up. And then I'll click OK. There. And then I'm going to make a crossing window to all to select all the objects. And I'm going to remove the outline. There. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of this. Control C. And I'll go back to my page 2 where my outline is. And then I'll just paste the text there. There. So what I'm going to do is, I'm the only thing I have to do is to put the drop shadow. So I'm going to group all of this. And I'm going to put a drop shadow. Here. Put the slider on. There you go. I just made a, a new text effect. Very nice. Very elegant. That's it.